So here we have a desktop machine that won't boot. Uh, the client says that they just changed the CMOS battery and now when we try and start it up, let's see what happens. So as we can see, it's, uh, it just switches itself off. Try it again. So, let's take a look inside. So looking inside, let's just see the CMOS battery. That's, that's in place okay, no problems there. Uh, Wiring looks to be okay. Ah, what's this? That is definitely not good. If the heatsink is not making contact with the processor, uh, it will detect that and automatically shut down, which appears to be what it's doing. Now to fix this, what we have to do is to remove the whole heatsink, uh, replace the thermal paste that's on it, so we remove the fan cable and then each one of these four has to be rotated in an anti-clockwise direction. See that one was really loose, that was the problem. Possibly the machine got bounced around in a car or dropped at some point. We just lift this guy up now. Ah, very interesting. <laughs> it looks almost brand new and uh, there's no thermal paste whatsoever. So uh, this has been, been wrong from the get-go. So let's get some thermal paste on there. So for this job we just need to put a little thermal paste, uh, heat sink compound, pasta thermica if you come from where I am now. and. Just apply a little to the heat sink itself. And then we can reunite that with its uh, processor. Make sure we've got the cable the right way for the fan. Locate these back in the holes. And the opposite two diagonals. And when you hear them click, then they're pressed home. Now we prove it, and that's now nice and solid. And don't forget to connect the fan back up. Right. So now we see if we can see it boot. So are we feeling lucky, folks? Obviously it still needs to have F2 press for the default values. And starting Windows. XP, but there we go. I would say that that's a result. I'd also say that in well over 30 years of fixing stuff I have never seen before a CPU with no heatsink compound on. I've seen it dried out, cracked, loose, but uh, this is a first for me. Thank you.